Salutations, my fellow nerds and others out like this is Juno Lahona, and today I'm going to show you how to um, do some compositing within Blender. Compositing is basically just um, photo editing, but um, yeah, basically photo editing. This is just going to be some basics. I will go into more um, in depth tutorials later. Uh, what I have here is my um, outputs kind of layer, or not layer, but um, it's kind of just um, where my outputs are. Um, I just made this myself. If you want to know how to do it, um, you need to have the Node Wrangler um, pref thing on. Just go to User Preferences. Uh, I don't know if you're able to see this, but then add ons. Oh, there it is. And then look up. Um, what do I look up? To look up, but whatever. Uh, look up Node Wrangler. There we go. And you should get it. Um, then, you know, you can put this on. Then, uh, basically, what I did was went to layout frame, uh, sized it to the frame, and then I just par um, parented it. So, yeah, that's how I did it. And then I just changed the color with this. and. I'm able to change the color. Whatever. So, let's first get our image in. So, let's first go ahead and go to input. And the, oh well, press shift A and then you'll find, well actually, or you can press T and you can go here, but it's just easier to do it by pressing shift A. Right, uh, I do not have that on. Well, let me just put this on quick. Uh, sorry. Where is it? Uh, 3D view. There we go. And I'm just going to quick um, turn on the display keys. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, so if you want to see what I'm clicking on, just look down here um, and you'll be able to see that. So let's go ahead and get started. First, press Shift A and go to Input. Uh, and then we'll go to Image. image. And now as you see that it changed, I have backdrop on. Um, this won't automatically come here, so this, these will both be off. Should be a thing for compositing. Just click these two and then, you know, it'll be up. Uh, you can connect this by just le left clicking on the little yellow dot and then connecting it. This shouldn't be here. It should be more like just one of these, the composite. Just connect it to the composite, though. Um, but I have these together. I will show you how to use the Node Wrangler in another video if you want it. So, yep, just connect this to the uh, composite. And then to add in a viewer, just do Output Viewer and then just put it in there. And then um, if you press, and then you can just connect it here like that. But, um, why not? Uh, and then sh uh, hold shift and then uh, left click to kind of draw a little line there. Okay, well, it kind of lied. Let's press open. Let's go. I'm going to go into one of my renders, one of the ones that I have not um, actually done anything with. Uh, let's go one that I have not done any kind of editing with. Um, hmm. Let's see. Let's do. Let's do this one. Yeah. Uh, this was something I made a long time ago. And then we're going to go ahead and go down here and go to the viewer node. This is so basically now whatever I do in here, it'll also show up here and in the background. It's just a lot easier to do it that way. So make that go a little bit over here. Still there, just a little bit smaller. Okay. So first, let's go ahead and put a vignette on it. Vignettes are basically simply just um, outlines. And the reason why I'm starting with a vignette is because it has multiple things that you need to know. Um, I will show you how to make a group to where you're able to do this. And really, all you need to do is just press and type in how much of a vignette you want, and then boom, it'll be done. But it doesn't have to be that dark. Control X is to delete something but keep the strand. Um, 
connected. So let's go ahead and first get a go to distort. I meant sorry. Go to filter, blur. Excuse me. <laughs> Let me just get this back. Here, I'll just show you here. So, first, we're gonna. Now, I'll just show you. Get a color balance wheel. You'll need the this uh, the color balance wheel. You don't really need it, but you should have it because y you should. So you'll find that in color and then ba color balance right down there. So you won't need it, but you probably want it. Left click uh, to select and drag. Okay, so now let's get a go to distort and lens distortion. Now I want to change the distort. Jeez, I have a cup. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, then set that to one. That'll make this uh, really cool effect right here. But we do not want that. So we go to converter math, change this to less than, and now put this into the bot bottom value by right left clicking and dragging it down, and then change the value to one. Now, let's add in a mix node and take this input and put it here. Nothing happened yet because we need to change this to multiply. And now we have this. It's basically the same setup. No, it isn't. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Uh, I keep forgetting everything. It's it's kind of a long process if you don't remember it. I do. I usually just um, have this little nifty um, thing and I just pop it in there and boom. Sorry. So before after the less than you want to put it. Go to filter blur, and y this is right after the bl blur, but before the multiply mix node. But we change that to multiply. So change this. Gaussian to fast Gaussian, do 55 by 55, and usually 4 is a pretty good size. Oops, there we go. Nope, that is not it. Okay. There we go. I am so sorry. It's been a while. So, color balance wheel. I'll show you what that does later. Lens distortion. Math node, change that to less than. Blur node, change to fast Gaussian. 55, 555. I'll talk about this little um, thing later. Actually, I'll talk about this entire node in a bit. Then, get a mix node, change it to multiply. Put the color balance wheel into the top and then the blur into the bottom and then connect that to the little yellow dot that I told you how to make before. So let's first talk about the blur node. This is how you can edit the um, the actual size of the vignette. This is the entire thing. Nothing else. So let's say the default value would be 1. This is how it would look not very good. Looks more like um, you're looking out of an eye that's like half closed, half open kind of thing, you know? Um, a good one that I like is four. It's kind of soft. It's there, but it's not totally there. Or three is a nice one. It really just depends on how dark your image is. The darker it is, the more that the vignette will take over and just make everything dark. Um, as you saw with my other example, using this node, it made it very, very dark on this side. So, let me show you how to make this entire strand into a group just how, like this. So, press B and select all of these. Press Control, or, sorry, excuse me. 
control G and it'll bring you to this window wait what oh geez no that was not meant to happen oops um that's not good okay okay there we go sorry excuse me let me just close that in a little bit I just pressed S and X to scale it on the axis so this is what it'll look like okay there we go all right so now it's in this one little group now let's change some things let's take this slider and put it into this little almost see-through uh, this little outlined dot now we have fac now let's change this a little bit let's press N and go to the properties and now you'll see this we're going to rename this bright slash dark now I kind of like this but I don't know change this to negative 1 from 0 and choose the default value as 0 now we'll go ahead and name the actual sorry now we'll actually name it V I N G E T T E I think that's how you spell vignette if I'm correct V I G N E E T T E. All right, that actually did not change at V I N. Well, yeah, V I G N E T T E. So there we go. For me, it'll have dot zero zero one because I had I already have a vignette thing. So now, really, this isn't needed, but you don't need to actually put this anywhere because, well, you just don't. So now. We can go. Oh, that's not good. The default value should be zero. I am not actually sure what is wrong there. So zero, you'll see, has no vignette. Now, if you do do it backwards, you can get it brighter, a bright vignette. But it doesn't really show up here. So now, if we were to put this to one we'd get our regular setting but sometimes it varies again and this is re and you may actually need to do this if it's set at 2 it might not look good so just go ahead and put it up at whatever number you like I like 3 even though I said I like 4 whatever <laughs> so yeah now let's actually talk about the color balance wheel so let's go ahead and see what this ha what happens correction for shadows correction for midtones and correction for highlights so that means that when putting this up this will change the shadow to a, or change basically the entire image anything that's darker a blue nice blue color or green yellow orangish red pink blue whatever color so you can make it look really really nice like this I like this color now this is for midtones that's basically for just the midtones middle it's uh, really really nice I mean you can make a really nice image with this now for highlights that's basically just the white colors so you can see the contrast so let's change this to red and let's change this to more of a blue and more of a blue so now it's more contrasting see from blue a red pink to turquoise blue ish greenish and this is how you and basically that's how you've just changed this the regular image this right here if you press shift um, control okay shift control left click it'll just choose that you can change that to that 
with a couple of easy tr steps. So, let's actually talk about one other thing. And that is making this a group that stays. Let's click the F. What this does is just saves it to where even if nothing's... It, even if it isn't being used, it's still there. So now if we go to group, it'll say vignette. Now, if we wanted to save this and keep this as something, um, say, if you wanted to just keep this in a new save, let's go ahead and save this. Let's just name this YouTube Compose. Ugh. Ugh. Compose. That's it. There we go. Whatever. Even if it's spelled wrong, it's fine. I can delete it anyway. We can go to File, New. And now, we can go ahead and go to the compositing. Even though this is still there, let's just pretend that this isn't there. Now, we can go ahead and press File, Append, Blender, then we'll go into the project files. That's just for me. Go ahead and click this little calendar to modify it by time. Click YouTube Composite, Node Tree, and then Vignette 01. So now, when we go to Group, a, a vignette shows up. And now you can make your beautiful render of a square. <laughs> with the light. It's fine. So, that's basically it. That's just for doing the, um, a vignette. And then, if you wanted to save it to where it's, whenever you start a blender, it's always there, just click Save Startup File. I don't want to really change mine because mine already has um, a vignette on it. Bright dark. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like if you want me to do more. Um, that's cool. Also, happy birthday to Rowan! Yay! Or the Retronomer. Other. Whatever. Um, you can go to his YouTube channel, which I will li have a link in the description for. And you can also check out his DeviantUrt, which has his uh, book that he's working on. Um, he is a great, great author. So, yeah. Um, say happy birthday today. Uh, yeah. Did I say tomorrow? It's today. 18th. So, uh, yeah. See ya. Wrong button. See?